Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Kenner, Louisiana with the Long Island Frauditor as he attempts to film the local courthouse only to be kicked out fairly quickly. What is it with you, uh, frauditors and uh, filming inside courthouses? Do you guys really want to capture uh, privileged attorney-client information and all that other jazz? Well, at any rate, let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Hey, what's up, guys? Long Island Audit here, back again with another video. Today we're at the city courthouse here in Kenner, Louisiana. We're here today, as always, to peacefully exercise our First Amendment right to film in public and publicly accessible areas, to promote transparency and accountability within our government, and to ensure that our public servants recognize our rights and treat us with respect. Let's get into it. All right, guys, we're just getting inside the courtroom here. Hey, how are you? All right, so this is the hallway in the courthouse over here. We have some offices over Excuse here. You can turn it off. You can't bring that in the building. Oh, whoa, whoa. no, no, no. Hey. Whoa, 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 nothing. No, no. You can't bring that in the building. You got to go take it back out. What do you mean? Just what I said. Why you can't can have any record. You're actually committing a felony right now. How am I committing a felony? Because you cannot film in a courtroom. I'm not have in the court. Have... Am I in a court? Are no, we in yes, a courtroom? Yes, you are. Room? Yeah, we're every not... part of this court. No, we're not on, in sir. a courtroom. I'm not going to argue. We're not in a courtroom. Not... Yes, you are. Any fast Get your in hands court. off gonna... Come on now, Sean. Before you enter the courthouse, you should at least take some time to read any policies or procedures that the courts have in whatever state you're in. But of course, you're just going to argue, "Oh, that's policy. That's not law." Well, you know what, Sean? They'll still kick your sorry ass out the front door if you don't abide by their policies because you can be kicked out of a public building and trespass no matter what you say about that. Because it's not your bloody building. You are not in charge there, moron. Tell you Get again. your hands off I'm of me. You. Out. Get your out. hands out. off of me. Out. Yeah, yeah you can't. How is this considered the courtroom? Yeah. Yeah, can't How is this considered the courtroom? No, I'm going uh, out. You're filming here, I'm not. Yeah, you, can't. you need to get your hands off of no, me. I'm, I'm, I want to I'm, speak I'm, to your supervisor. I'm escorting you out. Out. Yeah, you get escorted out. Out the room. Yeah. Step out. You cannot bring anything in this courtroom. Where is the law that says that? I'll show you. Step out of the building. I'm out of the building. Step out of the building. I'm out of the building. Let me go get the sheet for you. Can I get the law? Yeah. Yeah. I absolutely. want to see the law. What's your name? Badge number. Wait, well, let's see. We got it posted. It specifically but, says. You read this. Look. No, you look. Look over here. Look. In courtrooms. Yeah. It specifically says. Oh, Sean, court's in session in this particular building, so quit being a complete asshat and move along. Because despite what you may think, you don't run this place. They do. In courtrooms. In courtrooms. Do you understand okay. what that means? No, do you in understand court what I'm rooms? telling you? you no, are you a law enforcement telling? officer? Yeah. Can me? I get your name and badge number? You can look, you can look it up. What does that mean? Two, three, Is that professional? Four. Yeah. Is that no, you can look it up? We're going to show you what you, I'm telling you about. Okay. It says in courtrooms. Where do you get off just putting your hands on people no, no, like I'm that? I'm trying to escort you out because I don't want there you, you to have this guy. There you go. There you go. In courtrooms. Yeah. Right. In courtrooms. Yeah. Why can't I, can, I want to speak to? I want to speak to a supervisor. I am. Yeah. So All right. I want this explains the whole anything involving the court in this building. It's, in, it's written in this law for you. This is not a law. No, Supreme Court rule. Yeah, it's a Supreme Court rule. It's a, but it's still not a law. It's a policy, it says here. Supreme right, Supreme Court, Court ruling. control yeah. all courts. I'm trying to tell you when you're in it. You can't film. Let's take a look at the uh, sign behind the officer right here. It says these things are not allowed inside the court building, not just the courthouse. And looky what we have here. Recording devices. But cherry-picking Sean is just going to ignore that little tidbit right there because it doesn't fit his pathetic little narrative. But please carry on, Sean. Let's hear what you have to say. Not that it'll do you any good. In courtrooms. No. Yes, and anything adjacent, adjacent when court's adjacent going on. Court is going on right now. Where does it say adjacent to courtrooms? Show me in here specifically. Uh, this You're the one that's enforcing this rule or policy, so I want to just I want to have it clear. What, so pol what, are, what part of this am I, this am I in violation? Any the Supreme Court law. Photographs, courtroom, or any facility designated a courtroom under circumstances. Yeah. Is that I'm not in a courtroom. 
This is it. You can have a copy of it. But I'm not in a courtroom. That's it. We I pass it. You can go to the Supreme yep. Court and look it up. So what would I be arrested for then if I go in not here and listening. exercise my rights? Not You're listening. not taking that in here. I'm not going to tell you again. But what? It's not your foot. I'm trying to get in and access services. Wow. <laughs> they handed me a paper that says nothing to do with, uh, that has nothing to do with filming inside of the courtroom. A little longer than a few minutes later. Here you go. There's What's this? That's a state copy of it. You assaulted me. You understand that, right? I didn't insult you. You didn't assault me? No. I would like you to file. Supervisor, I'd like to file a complaint against this man. Five hundred vets. Five hundred vets. Yep. Wow, really professional. <laughs> really professional. They're just making themselves look like complete and utter tyrants. The law doesn't apply to them, apparently. We the people, we're going to hold them accountable, though. I promise you. No, Sean. They're not the tyrants. In fact, you have taken place of the tyrants because you're trying to impose your will upon them. It is your way or the highway, and it's nothing else. You want them to bow down and lick your boots. But in this case, they didn't do it, so let's go ahead and skip to the part where the police show up and see what happens there. Many, many minutes later. We originally tried to call the Jefferson Parish Sheriff's Office, but they referred me to the Kenner Police Department. As you can see right here. Those tyrants inside are from the Kenner Police Department. So I'm not having much hope here. Something tells me they're not going to do anything. Because as we've seen time and time again, ladies and gentlemen, is that law enforcement is sadly above the law. No one in this country or anywhere should be above the law. How you doing, officer? I I'm the one that called you guys. So can I talk to you? Okay, great. Yeah, they they've locked access from... The public entering in to a public building. Oh, Sean, you just missed your opportunity to uh, converse with the police officer and tell him how persecuted you truly are. Well, that's okay, Sean, because there will be other days where you can infect other people with your persecution complex. You see that? Look, I called law enforcement because I was assaulted and my rights were violated. And he immediately goes to speak with his brothers inside, other law enforcement officers, instead of speaking to me, the person who called. That's the mentality. That is the mentality. I love exposing tyrants. I love it. How you doing today, sir? Good, man. What's going? So is anybody going to speak to me, the person who called? No? <laughs> wow, what a bunch of clowns. Unprofessional. Unprofessional. Oh, the delicious irony of you calling them clowns, considering that you're one of the biggest clowns on YouTube, and you're not the funny type of clown either. You're more of the tragic buffoon type of clown that everybody just pities. Both of them just completely sidestep me. Wanted nothing to do with talking to me. Hey, how are we doing? Can I get your name and badge number, please, sir? Brent Donald. What you got? You got a complaint? What's the deal? Yeah, can I get your name and badge number, please? Yeah, so I called you guys down here. Okay. I, I see that you spoke to them first, which uh -huh. isn't shocking to me at all. But do you need something on that? Yeah, I do. I was actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What? You have something else to do more important than Absolutely. doing your job? Absolutely. I don't notice that. Do you have anything? Yeah, I do. Okay. Make yeah, so I. Sir, you're doing your job right now. There's no need to escalate the situation. Just mm -hmm. okay. Are you ready? Uh, yeah, I, I, I'm ready. You're sounding a little uh, bit butthurt right there, buddy. Do you need some Zoidberg extra strength butthurt cream? I'm ready. Yeah. They, they said they already spoke with you. They didn't want you in there for whatever reason. They gave you some statutes. You can't just... Yeah, the, anything, they didn't give me any fine. statutes. Anything they they didn't that, give me any... You're more than welcome to go to the lockup speak to it you can make a point on somebody they, like they did go. listen All right, we're gonna they out. didn't appreciate it you you, had a good day. this is you're taking a complaint this is you taking a complaint 
So this is you. This is you taking a complaint from a sick, concerned I'm citizen. Too close to him, All right. I'm not even nowhere near you. Like I said, just don't put it so close. Hey, to don't me. touch don't me. Touch don't touch me. me. Don't. don't, touch don't me. No, you don't touch don't me. Touch me. Don't touch don't me. Get in my personal space. You don't touch that? me. You understand that? You're looking for a reason to violate my rights, and, and I'm going to hold you accountable. John, uh, I've watched plenty of your videos, and you really don't hold anybody accountable for anything. All you do is whine, cry, and complain about absolutely nothing And when you don't get your own way because you want to be the tyrant. Because if you don't get your way, you stomp your feet and cry and whine like a little toddler. You have a great day, okay? What's up with you? What's up with the law enforcement over here in Kerner? Kenner? Huh? You like putting your hands on people? You like going hands on, right? That's what the officers inside did. I was assaulted. You're not going to do anything about it, right? Nope. No, because, yeah, exactly. No. Why? Because you just assaulted me too. It's common practice here in Kenner, right? Right. Think you could just put your hands on anybody? If you didn't have that uniform on, you wouldn't have put your hands on me, and you know it. But because you got that badge and that gun on, you want to be tough to the person that you're supposed to serve. What you just said is one of the most insanely idiotic things I have ever heard. At no point in your rambling, incoherent response were you even close to anything that could be considered a rational thought. Everyone in this room is now dumber for having listened to it. God have mercy on your soul. You have a great day, okay? Yeah. You have the day you deserve, tyrant. Completely ridiculous. Completely ridiculous. Wouldn't even take a complaint. Completely ridiculous. Kenner Police, car 235. Wow. Well, I am just going to end the video right here because it just goes on for another 15 minutes while he complains to another police officer and it goes absolutely nowhere. But the rules on filming inside of courthouses are quite clear and they are easy to look up online. It took me less than five minutes after starting this video to find that policy on the Louisiana Supreme Court website. So, Sean, what is your excuse, if you even have one at all? At any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.